Dead Eye, the Council is pleased to see you've arrived on Alderaan. Until recently, Alderaan was a part of the Republic. Today, it's on the brink of collapse. Shortly after seceding, both the Queen and the heir to the Alderaanian throne were assassinated. A usurper, Boris Olgo, stepped into power, setting off a civil war. I assume one of the Jedi Masters is here? Master Sidoni Garen, one of the Jedi Order's finest strategists and diplomats, dropped out of contact briefly while on Alderaan. She's made contact since, but was evasive about her silence. Master Sidoni is brokering a peace on Alderaan. If she is suffering from the plague, it could jeopardize the entire peace process. I won't let that happen. Master Sidoni was working with the head of House Organa's diplomatic corps, Hala Morgana. Find Master Sidoni and make sure she is well, that the peace process is not in jeopardy. Welcome, Jedi. I'm Hala Morgana, head of House Organa's diplomatic corps, and this is my younger, more handsome brother, Lou. Please, Hala. You do yourself an injustice. Your age gives you a stately difference. If I wasn't wearing my extra years around my waist, I might agree. Now, Jedi, how can I help you? I'm looking for Master Sidoni Garan. I believe she may be ill. Hmm. She seemed fine last I spoke with her. Or you just missed her. She's at the Peace Summit. A Peace Summit on Alderaan. <laughs> Imagine that. But I'll call her. The location of the summit is a secret for obvious reasons. But I'm sure she'd welcome your assistance. Helen Organa. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy right now. The summit is just getting underway. The Jedi Council sent me to help with the peace process. You're Master Yuan, student, aren't you? It's wonderful the Council sent you to assist me, but this is a very delicate process, with no place for a Padawan. I passed my trials, and I think the Council knows what it's doing. Only official representatives of the Houses may attend the summit. What would the other Houses think if another Jedi from House Wagana showed up? And I don't have time to debate, if you'll excuse me. Master Sidoni, uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Jedi. That's really not like her. All the more reason why I need to get into that summit. Yes, well, Master Sidoni said that only representatives can go. Unfortunately, Organa's representative is already there. How? House to Raw. You know, with the beautiful daughter. Couldn't our Jedi friend represent them? Ha! Huh, my brother is a genius. House Tyrol is desperate for a representative, but the usurper Ulgo destroyed their hopes. If you could help them defend themselves against their enemies and return them to glory, I'm sure they'd make you their delegate. Hopefully House Tyrol can find use for me. I'm sure they will. They are in dire straits. You'll find Lord Tyrol in his house's last holdings an enclave near Ulgo lands and Killick nests. I will let them know you're coming. And beware the Killicks. Those insect men have terrible tempers. No hagwa bunta cho, chubalong haku, ya sa un kubas, taja bakta tun bunko. Have you been hurt? Kuse je sinchi, di nomano kava je ulwani, wanta humpa. Moody Rava Fupa Jipampa Wula A King Sali Kikava Dumpa Stupa I would be honored to assist you. A King Sali Kikava Dumpa Stupa Wana Wada Blota Wijawa O Wama Wanka Matuske Buka Kampak Nijit Tonka Yiliska Chanaga Are you Lord Terrell? I'm here to become your delegate to the Peace Summit. Jedi, yes. Uh, Organa told me you'd be coming, but, well, this is... Uh, well, it's complicated. The whole house needs to approve a new delegate, and, well, they, they, they say they won't approve a stranger. She may be a stranger, but she's a Jedi. I should think you'd be grateful for her assistance. Yes, of course, but House Terrell has fallen so hard, we don't even have the strength to hope. It will take more than my word to convince them. It is my privilege as a Jedi to serve House Terrell in whatever way I can. 
Really? Well, all right then. After our original delegate was murdered and Ulgo drove us back into this hole, I'd almost given up hope myself. Just tell the Jedi our plan, Father. Right. House Tural's current position is precarious. Our enemy, House Ulgo, seeks our destruction. Their army is at our gate. House Tural needs a strong ally if we are to survive. We need Haas Organa. An alliance with Organa seems doable. We had hoped so. We proposed a marriage alliance to House Organa. My daughter Fasha would marry Lu Organa. But House Tural is weak, and powers within Organa fear we'd drag them down with us. We need to prove to Organa that House Tural can defend itself against its enemies. We need a plan. Tell me, what are your resources? I'm afraid you're our only source, Jedi. As I've said, House Ulgo's forces are at our gates, threatening to drive us out of our last holding. But Ulgo's commanding general, Astar Vox, is a mercenary with a loose definition of loyalty. If we can reach him, turn him, we can break the siege. I will begin negotiations with Astar Vox immediately. We have no time to waste. I will contact House Organa the moment I hear that the siege is broken. I've come representing House Terrell. They want you to give up this siege and join them. Well, isn't this a surprise? The Jedi have decided to involve themselves in Alderanian politics. You must be pretty sure of yourself to walk into a room of highly trained commandos. But you should know that I don't do business with just anyone. My word is good, as is House Terrell's. I'm sure it is, but that's not my concern. The battlefield is the only true test of a person's worth. War, bloodshed, these are the fires and forges of greatness. I only negotiate with my equals. Besides, my men are itching for sport. Best a pack of my warhounds and we'll talk. You'd best keep your promise. Excellent. I've not had the pleasure of seeing a Jedi in action. Release the dogs! What do you think, boys? That was a little too easy, wasn't it? Aye. Let's see a real challenge. Y easy? I, I take exception. You're trying to kill us. I trusted in the Force to see me through. I'm sure you did. Not that I expected anything less from a Jedi. Those dogs were old, weren't they, boys? You need to do better than defeat a pack of geriatric mutts. No, you need a real challenge. What'll it be, boys? Droids! 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 Droids it is, then. These are the best Olgo has. Beat them, and we'll talk. If that is what I must do to earn your respect, so be it. Droids! Activate attack protocols. Target Jedi. Excellent! Excellent! I like your form, Jedi. But I'm not entirely convinced yet. Sure, you can beat a couple of dumb machines, but what about Olgo's finest warriors? Smart, fast, highly trained, and hardened by battle. You mendacious vagrant! Twice now you've broken your promise! On my honor, this is the last time. Beat my champions, and we'll talk. I've got plenty more where that came from. Boys, you heard the Jedi. She's spoiling for a fight. Show her a good one. Most impressive Jedi. I didn't think House Tural had the resources left to recruit such a powerful ally. No hard feelings. If you knew how many fools come by offering me jobs. House Tural wants your loyalty, and they want your army to stand down. I'll give you credit for being direct. You can tell House Tural that my answer is yes. It's been fun working for House Olgo, but there's no glory in working for the biggest army on the planet. I'll call off my troops and meet with Lord Tural immediately. Don't worry, I know the way. Jedi, thank goodness I've reached you. There's good news and bad news. The good news is everyone's heard how you impressed Astor Vox and broke the siege, including Organa. They've agreed to the marriage alliance. Now the bad news. Lu Organa has been kidnapped. Then we have to get him back. Exactly. The kidnappers were from Ulgo's ally, House Rist. Alderaan's most deadly assassins. An Organa Terral alliance would be disastrous to Ulgo. They must have ordered Riz to kidnap Lu Organa to stop the alliance. I'll rescue Liu Organa. I promise. Be careful, but hurry. We need to beat the Organa attack, 
or everything falls apart. Jedi! Thank goodness. I thought they were going to kill me. House Tyrol sent you, didn't they? They called about an alliance. I, I was riding to meet them and... Well, thank goodness you're here. I'm glad I was able to make it in time. Thank you. I'm still a little sore, but I'll live thanks to you. I was going to meet with House Tyrol to discuss the marriage alliance when these assassins swooped in and knocked me off my Thranta. I woke up here. But were they trying to prevent the Alliance? Who would want to do that? Without the Marriage Alliance, I can't get to the summit. Maybe someone doesn't want me to go. Who would care if you went to the summit? Though now that you mention it, as I lost consciousness, they were talking about Master Sidoni. But how could she be involved? It has to be a frame job. It must be. I believe Master Sidoni is very ill. But if I can get to the summit, I hope to help her. I just want to trust Master Sidoni. Ugh. I'm sorry. My head. I still get these pains from the fall. I can't leave here until I know if Master Sidoni was involved. The kidnappers used to go into the other room to contact their employer. I'm sure we'll find a comm device there. We just need to see who they've been calling. I told you, I can't. Oh, Jedi, I appreciate your desire to help, and I will be sure to praise your zeal to Master Yuan. But I am extremely busy right now. I can't afford interruptions. You hired the assassins who kidnapped Liu Organa. Why? I would be careful about making such outrageous accusations against a Jedi Master. Now, if you'll excuse me, Jedi, I have very important work to do. Wait, Master Sidoni! I don't understand. What was her frequency doing here? I assure you, Master Sidoni is not herself. Should she be leading the summit then? She could do something terrible. Please, I need to get out of this place. My head is killing me, and I keep looking over my shoulder expecting more assassins. I'll see that the Organa Taral Alliance is finalized, and that you get to the summit. I don't understand. Why would you want to risk it? Lord Tyrell, without risk, there can be no glory. The only way to avoid risk is to avoid war. But that's not very effective or fun, is it? No, I suppose it isn't. Ah, Jedi, welcome back. General Vox and I were just discussing strategy. We haven't stood this proud since our house was young and building its first alliance with House Pantir. Thank you, Jedi. The Jedi way is to serve. You have our gratitude. Lu Organa and my daughter Fasha are getting acquainted as we speak. I spoke with the rest of House Tyrell, and the decision was unanimous. You are our new delegate. Congratulations! Now I need to get to the summit and find Master Sidoni. I have the packet the last delegate was supposed to use, but I don't understand its contents. Some coordinates and a data spike. It appears that you need to go to those coordinates and... Do something with the data spike? Excuse me then. I must get to the summit right away. Just one moment, Jedi, if I may. We would like to ask one last thing. There will never be peace for House Tyrell as long as House Ulgo exists. If you're able to use your influence as a Jedi to convince the summit to strip House Ulgo, ensure they never hold a title again, we'd show our gratitude. I don't want to do anything that will destabilize the peace. Please, Jedi. House Tyrell has security now, but we still require justice. Good luck at the summit. I hope you find Master Sidoni well, and that all goes smoothly. I have Master Sidoni's permission. So here it is, laid bare before you, the irrefutable evidence. 
House Ald has been conspiring against House Organa for years, preying on their good trust. House Thule is the reason the Pantir heir was assassinated. And House Ulgo is merely a puppet of House Wrist. Lies! All lies! There are holographic recordings, documents. You can't argue with hard evidence. We trusted you. How dare you! You will meet our armies on the field of battle. Please, everyone. There must be another way besides war. Calm down. My brother's murder went unsolved for 20 years, and you expect me to sit across from his murderer and stay calm? Just keep quiet, Jedi. I do this for the good of the galaxy. Master Sidoni, you have a sickness that's altering your mind. I have suppressed my illness, overcome it through reason. I am thinking, as I always have, in strategy, in variables and outcomes. I have calculated the future, and for the galaxy to have peace, there must be war on Alderaan. I will not be shaken from this course. I'm sorry, Master Sidoni, but I can't let that happen. You are too late. All the pieces are already in place. You're a fouler liar than House Wrist. House Wrist takes exception to that characterization. Murderer? That was 30 years ago. We had an alliance! House Organa has heard enough. It's clear to us that there can be no other course but war. Master Sidoni set you up for this. She would see you all destroyed. This child is barely more than a Padawan. Disregard her. Master Sidoni is the only one telling any truth at this summit. Don't insult her integrity. You would defend her, Organa. You've always been a little too friendly with the Republic. At least they didn't murder the heir to the throne. We didn't murder anyone! Rist did! Yes, Rist put that usurper on the throne, but you ordered the hit. Usurper? Our reign is as legitimate as any other. How can you judge each other when you've all committed the same crimes? Easy for you to say, Jedi. You don't have any stake in any of this. These accusations go back 30 years! 30 years of betrayal and treachery! Thirty more if you go to war. Don't you want to leave your children something better? The Jedi has a point. Why do we have to keep doing this? All it brings is more bloodshed. No, there must be war on Alderaan. The darkness is coming and I must stop it. Master Sidoni? Listen to her! She wants war! Fight the illness, Master Sidoni. Come back to the light. Jedi, if you will not agree to be silent, then I will silence you myself. The darkness is coming, Jedi. War must rage on Alderaan for 50 years, and only then can we put an end to the darkness. But you haven't won yet. Once you're out of the way, I'll make them see. I won't fail. Not again. I'm so sorry, Parkins. I failed you. I tried to keep the darkness from coming, but I failed. Be calm. I'm here to help you. It's too late to help me. I failed. I failed, Parkanis. It's my fault Parkanis died. Malachor III. I miscalculated. He had to be left behind. He died because of me. Vinegar! My head! Please, I can't block out his voice any longer. You must kill me to silence him. I won't kill you. But you don't need to hear his voice again either. Jedi. What? How did you... I don't understand. My mind is clear again. And you're... weak. Will you be alright? What did you do? It's a shielding ritual. It should keep Lord Vivicar's voice out of your head for a while. Thank you, Jedi. I only hope the sacrifice wasn't too great. For a while, I thought I was able to block Lord Vivicar's voice from my mind. If you hadn't been there with your calm sense, I don't know what would have happened. Master Sia will be wondering how you are. I will contact the Jedi Council. I'm sure they'll want a full explanation. I think I can safely speak for all present when I say that the summit applauds your efforts. Indeed. But I have to say, Jedi, I'm at a loss as to how to proceed from here. 
Let there be a truce, and let the summit reconvene at a later date to work on a formal peace agreement. The summit will reconvene at a later date to discuss the details of a peace agreement. Thank you again, Jedi. Jedi, I hear the summit has agreed to continue peace talks. Thankfully, the delegates saw reason. Thankfully, indeed. We all owe a debt of thanks to you and Master Sidoni. My only regret is there's no talk of removing House Olgo's noble status and lands once the war is over. I didn't want to risk undoing the peace by inciting another conflict. That was probably the wisest course. I just can't feel safe as long as Olgo commands an army. But what am I saying? House Tyrell is far safer now with peace in view and Organa as an ally than we ever were. And I have you to thank. You're most welcome. You've done House Tyrell an invaluable service. I hope you will come visit us again. Master Sidoni just checked in. She seems well, but very frustrated with herself. She reports that you were able to prevent war from breaking out on Alderaan, however. You've once again done very good work in a tense situation, Jedi. I relied on the teachings of the Jedi. A mark of a true Jedi, being able to trust in the Force in all circumstances. Tell me, did you learn anything new about the Plague Master, Lord Vivacar? I wish I could say I had. I see. Master Sidoni was the last of the Lost Masters, and yet Vivacar still eludes us. Return to us here on Tython immediately, and we will discuss what you have learned. Lord Vivacar cannot remain hidden forever. You summoned me, Master Seo. Welcome home. I wish we could greet you with better news. Despite using every avenue available to us, we are no closer to finding Lord Vivacar. Actually, I believe we are. A common thread binds all the plague victims. The loss of Parcanus Tark at Malachor III. Vivacar's influence forced the sick masters to relive their failures on Malachor. This is revenge. Personal revenge. Only one man would have that much anger and pain. The man who was left behind. I believe Lord Vivacar is Parcanus Tark. Jedi, Parcanus is dead. Far from it, Jarek. Juan? I told those Padawans to keep an eye on you. You must rest. No, my pupil, my fellow Jedi, deserves to hear the truth about Malachor. You're ill, Master Yuan. Don't speak more than you have to. Malachor III isn't just strong in the dark side. The planet is the resting place of the Sith Lord, Terak Moraj. Our work on Malachor woke Moraj's spirit. One by one we fell under his power. The things we did still haunt me. The Noeticons on Coruscant said that Terek Morhage originally created the plague. Then I've been punished appropriately. We paid a terrible price to break free of him. Arcanus was the youngest and weakest. We had to abandon him to Malachor's darkness. His sacrifice allowed the rest of us to escape. But it seems he survived and has taken Morhage's dark path. You couldn't have predicted this. I must make amends. I have a plan to help you find Vivica. If the play created a link between my mind and his, your shielding ability may allow me to use that link to find him. No. You're already weak from the plague, Yuan. This could kill you. Vivicar won't get the chance. I'll be between him and my master. It's our best chance to find Vivica. Do all female Jedi have the same Durasteel backbone? Very well, Yuan. But we will monitor the ritual, and your former Padawan must stay at your side. Thank you, Seo. I will go to the meditation chamber to prepare. Please meet me there when you're ready. Thank you for coming. I have made all the preparations for the ritual to find Lord Vivica. I plan to create a connection between us, using your shielding ability. If it is, was, Parcanus, this should work. Drawing on your strength, I will invert the link between myself and Vivica and use it to sense his location. Don't expose yourself to Lord Vivica's influence longer than necessary. I won't, for your sake as well as mine. There are risks. For one, the shielding you gave me on Coruscant will be severed. I don't know what will happen then. It's possible I could die once your shield is gone. You must resist, Master Yuan. Don't give Vivica another victory. 
With your strength to sustain me, we will do what we can. No matter what happens, you must give me as much time as possible. Reversing the link may be a long process. Let us begin. Yes, yes, it's working. I can feel his mind, and I, I, I can feel I... She can feel the power that she's challenging. There is no hope. Jedi, you don't look as strong as you did last time we spoke. Yuan has drained your strength and made herself vulnerable to me. Still arrogant and reckless. You were once Parkanus Tark, a brave Jedi. You could be that man again. The past means nothing. All that matters is the future, which doesn't involve you. See how Yuan's will crumbles before mine. Fitting that two of my enemies will destroy each other. It... it worked. Listen. Lord Vivica, he's out in deep space on some sort of vessel. Here, take the coordinates. He surrounded himself with defenses. Send this. It's his code. It will give you time to get aboard. No, the darkness. Vivica's will is too strong. I, I can't hold on. Please kill me. End it now. I won't let that darkness touch you. Ah, oh, the darkness, it's gone. But you look exhausted. You have sacrificed so much for me. It's the Jedi way. I, I must rest. Please, go to Master Sio and the Council. They should hear of what we've learnt. The ritual was a success. Lord Vivicar is out in uncharted space. But he knows I'm coming. Now only your shielding talent can stop him. You've shown great fortitude and saved your master despite the odds. But Lord Vivicar will have made preparations and he still has his greatest weapon, the plague. Now that I know who he really is, I could return Vivicar to the light. A noble thought, but don't take unnecessary risks. Your shielding ability is our only hope. Go to the coordinates quickly, before Vivicar strikes back. And Jedi, may the Force be with you. I wasn't sure if you'd be foolish enough to come aboard, Jedi. But I can sense your presence. And I sense a man tormented by the past. You are blinded by the light side. You can't understand what you face. Come to me, Jedi. I'll show you how light can be snuffed out. Tell me, Jedi. What was it like? Letting your life force drain away to shield a stranger from me. How did it feel? It hurt, but I endured it. Pain makes us stronger. And the pain I have endured is beyond your comprehension. That is why I have won. Really? Because I'm almost positive I'm still alive. If you need me to remind you of that, honey, just ask. You will understand soon, if you live that long. Your power and tactics have got you this far, Jedi, but no further. 
this battle was decided before you stepped aboard. Lay down your lightsaber, and I'll show you mercy. Mercy is a weakness I have transcended. My plague isn't just a disease. It siphons power from its victims. With the proper rituals, that power can be channeled. Soon, the combined strength of your masters will make me the most powerful force adept who has ever lived. Turn away from this path, Parcanus. The Order can help you. Parcanus Tark died long ago. Even Vivica is merely a skin to be shed. Parcanus offered himself to me on Malachor III to crush the order that destroyed us. He embodied my spirit. I am no lost Jedi, no ordinary Sith Lord. I am Terak Morage. A Jedi healer put you down once. Now I can finish what he began. No one can oppose me. I am beyond flesh, beyond death. I will crush you, Jedi, and your shattered body will fuel my rebirth! Impressive, Jedi. You might even have triumphed, but my victory is already complete. My plague has spread farther than you can imagine. Jedi Masters across the galaxy are succumbing to it as I speak. The plague binds these Masters to me. Hundreds of them. The heart and soul of your order. Free those Masters, Morhage. Now! And if I refuse? Will you cut us down? Kill me, and you will kill every master I have ever infected. Everyone. Shielded or not, they are still bound to me. But what choice do you have? You cannot let me live, and I am deathless. Your shielding talent cannot harm me. You've lost. No matter what, Parcanus will be freed from you, Morhage. Still... alive. You spared me. I have to admit, I'm a little puzzled on that score myself. My mind is... clearer now. But... it was your duty to kill me and destroy Morridge. Too many Jedi have been lost already, including Parcanus Tark. Yes, Parcanus was lost. But perhaps he deserves another chance. I cannot return to the Order. But Tython has its hidden places. Its forests. I could find peace there. I could... go home. But first, Jedi, listen. Take this warning in exchange for my life. You can't trust the Order. Or the Republic. You may be their heroine now. But they will abandon you, too. Remember that. We felt it. A massive shift in the Force. The Masters you saved have reported a sudden improvement in their condition. The plague is over. Thanks to you. And... I sent Parcanus Tark. For the first time in many years. 
How can that be? Lord Vivacar, Parcanus, has been freed from darkness. I wouldn't have dreamed it possible. Perhaps there is hope for him. We persuaded the Republic to divert a starship to your location, just in case. The crew can bring Vivacar back to us. Thank you for all you have done. The Jedi Order owes its survival to you. Please, return to us on Tython. We wish to thank you in person, and we have a special reward for you. We've been awaiting your return. Please, step forward. You have saved untold lives through your defeat of Lord Vivica and the destruction of the plague. There's a title reserved for the most prestigious among us, whose wisdom and skill safeguard the galaxy. It hasn't been bestowed in thousands of years. But you have proved worthy. Now, the Council names you Barsan Thor, Warden of the Order. I will do all I can to live up to this honor. I never imagined your potential would take you so far. And not a moment too soon. We have need of you. We have received word that the Republic is facing a new threat. I stand ready for anything, Master. We need time to prepare a war council. The Supreme Chancellor himself will be attending. Take time to rest. And you should record your journey in the Jedi Archives. History must know of your actions. Return to us when you feel ready. For now, the entire Order will know there is a new Barsenthor among us. Nothing like a well-deserved reward, eh, Jedi? It's no luxury cruise to Corellia, but still, that's quite the title you have. I feel like I should curtsy. Don't hold back on my account, Holiday. And I thought it was just men who needed their egos massaged. Well, without Vivicar's minion sounding us, the galaxy is vast and wide. Shall we? Your amazing success has preceded you. Well done. But events are moving faster than we anticipated. The Council is calling an emergency conference with the Supreme Chancellor, and we need you to attend. Whatever the Order requires, I stand ready. Excellent. I knew we could rely on you. The conference is being held on Tython, at the Temple. Come as soon as you can. There is also another matter we should talk of in person. They need to talk? Hmm. Trust me, Jedi, nothing good ever follows those words. They've certainly piqued my interest. I'd hope not. But as such illustrious personages demand our presence, I suppose we shouldn't keep them waiting. The Supreme Chancellor, this is so exciting. Ugh, no time to recompile my hair. Ah, well, Supreme Chancellor, allow me to present the only living Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. The Council has told me of your exploits. Remarkable. You may be exactly the person I need. What can I do for you, Chancellor? You may not be aware that the Empire is not our only concern. The Republic itself is on the brink of collapse. Across the galaxy, many worlds are talking about secession. Even open rebellion against the Republic. The Republic has survived intact for thousands of years. What has changed? The threat of the Empire has strained us all. Dwindling resources, attacks, trade being lost. It's taken a toll. 
A small league of powerful planets and individuals has emerged, calling themselves the Rift Alliance. This Rift Alliance claims to have lost all faith in the Republic. Those worlds are threatening to sever all ties, permanently. But the Republic is badly weakened. The Rift Alliance controls critical resources, armies, trade centers. If they leave, the Republic will die. If this Rift Alliance's worlds are still part of the Republic, then there's hope for reconciliation. I want to assign a Jedi as my representative to the Rift Alliance. To prove the Republic takes their grievances seriously, this Jedi will be tasked with solving any problems the Rift Alliance may have to restore its faith in the Republic's strength. When I asked the Council for candidates, yours was the first name they suggested. What sort of problems would I be solving? Whatever the Rift Alliance needs. Prove the Republic's worth to them. Which brings us to the other matter I mentioned. We would, naturally, not assign anyone less than a Jedi Master to such a task. But your patience, your compassion and wisdom show that you merit the rank. Will you accept and become the Order's newest Jedi Master? How could I refuse such an honor? Kneel, and the Supreme Chancellor will bear witness. We are one voice, one order, bound together by the Force. Through her actions, this Jedi has proved worthy before our Order and the Force itself. We grant you the rank of Jedi Master. Protect and guide the Republic as the Force guides you. Rise, and may the Force be with you. Congratulations. It is a pleasure to welcome you as a fellow Master. You've given me an example to live up to, Master Seo. I've convinced several diplomats from the Rift Alliance to be guests aboard a Republic flagship, the Fortitude. Rendezvous with the Fortitude and meet with them. Quickly. You are now my best hope to keep the Republic in one piece. I'll head to the Fortitude immediately. And thank you. Perhaps the Republic will have a future, after all. Hello? You're the Jedi they were sending, yes? I, I can't talk any louder. Someone might hear. I'm Nadia Grell. My father and the other Senators. We were all invited here by the Chancellor. But then the ship was attacked, boarded by people calling themselves Sith. Nadia, make sure no one can find you before we talk anymore. I'm in an air vent on the command deck. I can't go too far from the bridge. The one in charge is called Eriks. He just cut his way through the crew. Then he ordered all the senators onto the bridge and locked it. My father's in there, but I can't get to him. I just hid. Don't fret, Nadia. None of this is your fault. Please! You have to save him! There's a console on one of the lower decks that can open the bridge. Here, I'll send you the location. Please hurry! I saw the Sith tampering with the engines. We might not have a lot of time. Caution. Navigational computer illegally locked. Fail-safe systems have been disabled. Collision with Duralia's surface is imminent. Recommend immediate course change to avoid casualties. Oh, wonderful. My genius is about to be snuffed out thanks to some Imperial Grunt's ham-handed sabotage. Get away from him. I'm warning you. I won't let you hurt him. Nadia, don't! You'll just end up shooting yourself, girl. Drop it, or your father and your Jedi friend here will die very, very slowly. Why have you done this? These people are no threat to you. Hardly a challenge, either. But I know better than to question my orders. Your ambassadors will die, and this ship will be destroyed. Pitiful, like slaughtering Nexu cubs. But Lord Kairos demands that your Rift Alliance suffer and fall. Who is this Lord Kairos? A master I'm honored to serve. Hmm. My lord might find the girl an appealing prize of war. Once she's incapacitated. But the others must die. It is commanded. And you, Jedi, are in my way. 
Nadia, don't you ever! What were you thinking? He might have killed you. I'm sorry, Father. I couldn't just hide while you were in danger. Charming, really. You will talk later, Nadia. The planet's looking dreadfully close, and I saw that Sith lock the navigational computer. He seemed very intent on killing you all. Do you know why? To destroy the Rift Alliance and hurt the Republic, I'd say. That Sith also destroyed the life support and fire control systems, so I hope you have another ship for us to evacuate onto. Please! I, I don't want to die! Shush, Blasus. Jedi, could we overload one of the engines to change course? We'd likely hit Duralia's moon instead, but there'd be time to escape. Just... I don't want to risk crashing on top of innocent people. No, no. The moon is totally lifeless. I'd never suggest it otherwise. Wait! We can't do that! If we crash the ship into the moon, it'll... Tekalia Srek Grula Mosca. I want to hear what she has to say. Go ahead, Nadia. If the Fortitude crashes into Duralia's moon, it'll change the planet's tides. Whole cities might flood. But the Fortitude's thrusters still work. If we work together, maybe we could steer the ship into orbit instead. You need to take everyone to the controls right away. But we could save Duralia and the moon, and the ship could be salvaged. Can't the thrusters be controlled from here? We need to steer manually. The consoles are around the ship. I'll show you. Which Jedi? Time's short. Either we steer the ship, or you'll need to crash it into the moon. We'll each man one of the thrusters and get the fortitude to safety. I'll stay here and guide everyone. <laughs> Even I can miss a planet. It's all right, Dune. Everyone, stay close to the Jedi until you find a console. Quick now. Orbit over Duralia. Everyone's okay. We're all heading back to your starship. I'll meet you there. Looks like we're safe, but w w what happens now? As I understand it, we've been given a Jedi Master to address our every need, right? Every need may be a little strong. I'm here to secure your place in the Republic. Excellent, excellent. Shall I introduce everyone? First? Representative Alani, who can introduce herself. This is Diab Duan. He represents a planet rich in lightsaber crystals, you call them? Hello. Ty Corden, Trade Secretary for Balmora. You're the Barsenthor, the Warden of the Jedi Order, right? Yes. I didn't know my rank was common knowledge in the Republic. Next is Shuru. He is from a water planet called, uh... Alipa I I'm Blazes. If you need any help from... Well, not that you need. Hello. And I'm Senator Toba Skrell. My daughter and I are from Sarkai. We've uh, only just joined the Republic. But we were invited to join this Rift Alliance almost right away. Wasn't that nice? It's an honor to be working with you. Ah, the Republic. Good at words, but nothing else. If you're really here to help us, prove it. What about Tai? His world's under Imperial occupation, and the Republic's utterly failed to liberate them. Twice. Alani, there were good reasons for the Republic to pull out. Even I see that. Although, if you did help to free Balmora, Jedi, you'd certainly prove the Republic isn't a failure. An Imperial occupation is reason enough to assist you. Technically, Balmora's not a Republic world, just a Republic ally. But the Empire didn't care. Since the occupation, Balmora's government has been in exile, myself included, and our droid factories are under Imperial control. But if Balmor is liberated, I'll see we join the Republic and bring our droid armies with us. The Republic would be honored to have you. The Republic actually helping Balmora? That would be... a start. Now more than ever, we must stand together. 
and I will prove how much the Republic cares about you. Fuipanyaga, Tweepy, Taiboka Dunka Wonna Wanga. Yes, that, that sounds like a, a good idea. On a Jedi ship? I never dreamed I'd... I can't wait to see everything. <laughs>